In today's cooking with WCCO, we're cooking with an unusual ingredient. The three Cricketeers founders, Claire and Chad Simons, are with us in the CCO kitchen. Claire and Chad, thanks for coming Thank in. You. Thank you. Uh, when you open with, we're going to give you some crickets, I mm -hmm. think uh, sometimes you hear crickets from people, right? Like they're, <laughs> exactly. they're maybe they're a little unsure, uh, a little you queasy. You weren't messing around because this chocolate is sure is covered with full on it crickets there. It is dark chocolate. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> Claire, why don't you tell us the story of how you two started getting uh, involved in this business? You're actually raising the crickets and doing the whole yep. process, right? We have the farm all the way to the end products. and. Chad went to law school for environmental law, so mm -hmm. that's always been a passion for him. And I'm a nurse, and we just kind of decided this was our two passions. I really care about nutrition. So mm -hmm. when I realized how nutrient dense crickets are, mm -hmm. I just jumped right on board. Yep. So Chad, explain a little bit about the environmental impact and why crickets are a good idea. Okay, well crickets, they require a lot less water um, to raise for the same amount of protein as other sources of protein, mm -hmm. a lot less land. You think about like beef or chicken or pork. Right. Or, exactly. Right. And a lot less feed as well. And there's nothing wasted. In fact, at the uh, Minneapolis Home and Garden Show this week, we're going to be debuting our cricket frass, which is the poop. So we actually use it for plant food, mm. and it's a great autoimmune builder for the plants as well. So it's really nothing's fertilizer. wasted. No. All right, let's Zero talk about some of the food that you guys have here. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is maybe our entry-level uh, cricket right. situation. This is entry-level. So what these are, here? are molasses, molasses cricket cook. cookies. Okay. And, and so I assume they're ground up in here? Yes. Okay. So we roast the crickets, dehydrate them, and then mm -hmm. we grind them into... Like mill it into a powder mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's such a mild taste and it takes on any flavor that you're cooking with. Oh, yeah. You never know. No, so you wouldn't. It really, it's really, mm -hmm. it's really kind of the first step. Mm -hmm. And then All right, we, let's get advanced. All right, let's get adventurous. So these are our roasted flavored crickets okay. that Gustavo Romero has helped us to flavor. Great and chef. And, uh, Great chef. Yes. He's at Mercy He's right at now. Mercy. And What's this one? Those are curry. I have a little curry yep. cricket. And then we have What do you do? Just so like... Do you just eat them? Just yep. like a little with your fingers and pop it in. Yep. Okay. And you also think of it as like a crouton oh, yeah. on top of a salad That'd or be great a taco. On a salad. Nice crunch. It's oh, like that's a good. Nut. Curry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you don't think about the fact that yeah. I'm just like shoveling crickets <laughs> in my mouth, it's fine. It is. It's just a crunch. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sure is. You wouldn't even know. Mm -hmm. So crickets are really nutrient dense. Two good. tablespoons is that what they are? Okay. Are, is 12 grams of protein. Really? So mm. I made you a smoothie this morning. Right, let's have that a smoothie. Has a little bit of, what not a, a little, a lot of crickets. Isn't Heather powder. being the best sport about you this? Are. Like, it's I'm, good, it's good. Would you eat this though? That I, that might be going a little too far for me. That's too much? Where should I hold this so you guys can see it? Please look at it. No? All right, we'll come back and see it afterwards. We're showing the shake. I will show you what may be too far for Heather, but will it be too far for me? Riley? <laughs> Cricket time? I don't think so. Right. I think you're going to eat one of those live on television for everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs>